Hi there. Welcome to Positive Power with your host, Michelle Dion. Another beautiful, beautiful week here in Sarnia Lampton. It's been hot. Um, and we've had some extreme rain. Seems to be happening all over. Everything is extreme anymore. You notice that? Um, but we're enduring. We've got our air on. It's nice and cool in here, but not cold. Because I find that if we keep it too cold in the house, then... Oh, that heat hits you like a brick wall, but lots of libations, lots of water, 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 water. And if you need something, if you're not a big water drinker and you need something to add some flavor, throw some fruit in there. Fruit is so important. It's great, you know, vitamins and whatnot. And it gives you an excuse to go to the farmer's market. Have you gone to your farmer's market yet this year? I hope so, because you know, with everything going on in the world, we feel so powerless quite often. And we feel like we're just hamsters on the wheel and there's nothing we can do and life is happening to us and we need to happen to life instead. You know, get out to your farmer's market and educate yourself. Buy as much local as you can. You know, there, I can tell you a thousand different reasons why you should. The first one is um, you're worth it. You're totally worth having the purest form of food going in your body, whether that's meat that you get from a butcher's or that's fruit that you get from the farmer's market. But you also need to, in my opinion, support your own country. You know, I was at the grocery store the other day and I was looking for cherries and, and I looked and my options were cherries from the States or cherries from Canada. Well, first of all, cherries from another country um, is a red flag for me because I know there has to be something on them to make them last. Um, and of course, I want to support my own country. I want to support my own farmers and I want something that I believe is the least amount tainted as possible and by that I mean uh, no pesticides you know all the stuff that they do to food and to animals these days so if you can stay away from the big chains as much as possible and stay as local as possible you are so very powerful with your money and you're going to be better for it all the way around you know even if it's your person that does juicing or if you just like to eat fruit because it's good for you and it's cool and it's better than cooking something. And the other thing um, that is a spot where we have a lot of money and a lot of control is in your clothing and your other things that you buy. You know, I came across, there's so many disturbing articles out there, and I came across this one article and they were talking about the slave labor market around the world. And do you realize 168 million children between the age of 5 and 17 so do a visual of a 5 or a 6 or a 7 year old and them working in horrendous conditions in the slave labor market whether it be in sweatshops or whatever so you know if you take the time to look at the labels you know only 5% of our clothing in Canadian stores are made in Canada so you're that's just boggling I have to pause there because I'm like Wow, 5%. And you know what? I hate to tell you. We've created this. We've done this. We've put ourselves in this position. So now it's time to support our brothers and our sisters. You know, all the companies that are all hightailing it out of Canada and moving their manufacturing. If we can, if we can increase the demand in our own country, the supply will match. So, you know, let's do a favor for ourselves and for everybody. And you know, it ties right in with my whole belief of one love and we're all connected. And if we can support each other by buying as much local as you can, buying as much Canadian as you can, it'll make all the difference in the world. And you know, unemployment is high. My family has been affected by a plant that closed down and we all lost our jobs. Another plant here in Sarnia Lampton just closed down. So that's another 155 people. 155 families that have just lost an income earner in the home. Sometimes it's the only income earner. So, you know, think about that. Think about that with your money because you're way more powerful than you think that you are. So the other thing I wanted to talk about too briefly is that I gave you a challenge last week, didn't I? Random acts of kindness. Did you do it? <clears throat> Did you smile at more people? Did you open the door for more people? You can keep it simple. It doesn't have to have anything to do with money. I know I did. I opened some doors for people. I, well, I'm always kind. So, you know, I'm not changing myself for this challenge, but I did. I bought a coffee for somebody in a drive through last night. And then today, here's an ironic thing. So last night I bought a coffee for a stranger, it cost me $2 and 10 cents. And then today, this morning, I'm going through um, a drive through at a coffee shop 
and my bill was ten dollars and eighteen cents or something like that because I was buying a, a little variety of stuff the girl behind me picked up mine so see I got all that which was wonderful and I'm up eight bucks so win 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 right so do that try it it's the law of attraction never fails it's like the law of gravity it's not hit and miss it's all the time so there you go have a great week we'll do it again next week and don't forget how awesome you are and stay cool stay refreshed stay awesome